This light bulb has been out the entire three years that I've lived in this house. I haven't really needed it because there's a light at the bottom of the stairs and one right here above me, so it's plenty bright here. But I think it's time. We've been remodeling some Airbnbs recently, but now we're trying to freshen up the house we actually live in one project at a time. Starting with replacing this old boob light back here with a modern LED light that has a halo ring around it for a night light. I saw them at an open house one time for recess lights, which I'm also replacing in the movie room soon, and I knew I had to have them. I've already replaced two of the boob lights here with it, and it's pretty awesome, so time to tackle this one. But the question is, and the reason why you're clicking on this video is because how do you set a ladder on top of your stairs? Well, you can't go to Amazon and buy these $100 ladder level things that you can place on the stairs, and I'll have links to those down in the description so you can check them out. But if you have a handy bone in your body, then why not build one of yourself made out of some scrap wood? It's basically free. Well, that's what this video is all about. So follow along to see how I build a ladder level for my stairs. I also need to finish painting some of the walls back here and freshen up the rest of this upstairs area. So let's just get into it. So this is about a half inch thick, maybe three quarters, which is perfect. That's just fine for this type of job. What's funny about this plywood is, is once again, I'm using it to get in a high up area for my house. Last time I used it as like a catwalk to replace the chandelier in the entryway. Now I'm using it to change out a light above the stairs. It's the same exact piece of plywood. That's why I saved this stuff. So with my measurements, I need a 28 inch piece. See, I'm trying to get better. And then a 15 and a half high inch piece. And then just a couple of two by fours cut out a 45 degree cut and a 45 degree cut like this. And these will be for some angles. Now I'm going to dry fit this whole thing and mark where I'm gonna pre-drill some screw holes. I'm gonna pre-drill some of these in. And actually I'm gonna take some of these screws out so I can pre-drill through this so it doesn't split this too. Whoops. Just to add a little bit more structural integrity to this, I'm gonna add a two by eight. This is just some scrap wood I have laying around. Two by four would be just fine. This is the part that's going towards the floor. So this is the up and down, the vertical part. This is the horizontal that goes flat on the stairs. So on the part that rests on the staircase where there's gonna be a lot of pressure on this skinny half inch to three quarter inch piece of wood here, this plywood, I'm just gonna add another inch and a half with this two by eight down here, down low. And since I don't care how this is gonna look at the end of the day because I'm going to throw it away after this project, I don't care if there's screws sticking out like this and like this, I'm gonna take it all apart. This here is already pretty sturdy. I can barely flex it as is. The weight is gonna be deferred onto two points because two steps, two uh, legs on the ladder. So additional to this extra piece, I just have another piece of two by four laying around and I'm gonna add it right here in the corner and just put it like that and that just acts as like another angle support here. 
Again, you don't really need to do all this, or you could do even more if you feel more comfortable. If your stairs are even higher up and you need a little bit more comfort in your mind, you can go and buy metal brackets for three or four dollars and really beef this thing up. Uh, you can go as far as you'd like. Here we go. It's not very pretty, but it's going in the trash. By the way, these are gauge or number eight screws here. You can use number 10, but I feel like number 10 would just rip this apart. So then I have, yeah, one, two, three, four more screws there holding these two together. These are also structural screws. I'll show you a picture of the box right here. But yeah, this sucker is, you know, it's not pretty, but it's lightweight, easy to use, and super functional. Now I'm gonna drive home and go ahead and install that light. By the way, my house is literally right there, but it's too long of a walk. Gotta drive. <laughs> start with screwing this plate on. By the way, always make sure you check that your power is off at the panel and the switch. That was just as easy as I thought it would be. The projects I put off for years are crazy simple sometimes. So these lights are made by Hickalitty or something like that. And I will have those linked down in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. I did hook them up to a dimmer switch because they actually come very bright. Even though you could change the color temperature on there, they're still extremely bright. So my only two issues with these lights is the fact that the wires are not stripped back long enough, which is really easy to fix. And the fact that they do come in so bright, you do I would recommend getting a dimmer switch, but overall I give them a five-star review. They're excellent quality, easy to install, and I liked them so much that I bought a ton of recess lights by a different brand, because I don't think they make recess lights. So a different brand for my movie room, just so I can still use my projector and have a night light up flashing towards the sky and not down making a glare on the screen. Anyway, this isn't a review video on these lights. This is a video on how to install or make a ladder level on your stairs so you can install a light bulb or just swap out the light completely so you never have to worry about light bulbs again. Maybe I should say that this video is just for entertainment purposes only. If you try this yourself, that's on you. Comment all you want down below about how your cousin fell off their ladder and paralyzed himself for the rest of their life. It's not my fault. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.